Welcome everyone. How are you? My name is Marla and I represent Osborne Books more, but I also represent my own company called Store, Story Tamer Books. And through Story Tamer Books, I like sharing educational ideas and possibly sharing ideas for branding yourself um, and for doing business. So today I'd like to share a book that I'm reading. And I know that some of you on here are going to hate it because um, he, he has received so much media, negative media publicity. Um, but it's a really good book and I highly recommend it if you are an aspiring entrepreneur. So are you ready to know what book I'm reading? Ready? Are you sure? Okay, hold on to your chairs. Don't fall back, I promise. It's a really good book. Did you see it? Yep, it's The Midas Touch and it's by Donald Trump and Richard Kiyosaki. Two really amazing book writers and people that um, in recent years I have discovered are truly amazing and the media has destroyed them. Um, or at least one of them. And um, my only hope is that you get past the image you have of Donald Trump in order to um, find the book worthy, worthy, a worthy read. So what this book is about, the topic is about entrepreneurs and their ability to make their dreams come true. And I really agree. I really agree that not everyone has the entrepreneurial spirit. My husband, he tried to do business and he's not an entrepreneur. <laughs> no, um, business is not for everyone, but entrepreneurs, if we're going to come above this crisis and the unemployment, we need more entrepreneurs in order to create jobs. The government cannot um, provide you with a job. Um, it's, the government makes no money um, unless they tax you up the yin yang um, to make money and uh, to make themselves money and to create jobs. Um, so pretty much the, the premise of the book is the entrepreneur's ability to dream, win, lose, and win again and again is often con called the entrepreneurial spirit. It is what separates the entrepreneurs from everyone else. Um, and do you really have what it takes to be an entrepreneur? Um, you're not going to learn how to be an entrepreneur in school. School will not teach you how to be an entrepreneur. You're going to learn how to work for others in school. When I was a paralegal, um, I couldn't get into law school. <laughs> and that's what my my aspiration is to be a lawyer. Um, but because I didn't have the reading skills to pass the LSAT, I didn't get in. Uh, the LSAT whipped my butt and it, and it really opened my eyes to my gap. Um, so I decided to do a paralegal degree and learn as much as I can uh, while in that program. While learning how to work for a lawyer, I was also learning and inspiring myself um, how to be, think like a lawyer and improving my reading skills. Um, I've read tons of legal cases. Um, I've drafted and written tons of um, Iraq um, papers um, in my reading. Um, I've practiced the art of being a lawyer um, on my own. Um, and I, there, that's why I believe I'd be a good lawyer entrepreneur, but I wouldn't be a good lawyer necessarily because I'd have all these regulations behind me and I hate regulations. I have so many ideas and I love sharing ideas. That's who I am. Um, you can't take away that individuality from me, not even, 
not even Facebook can take it away. Um, but I believe, along with Richard Kiyosaki and Donald Trump, that only entrepreneurs create jobs. And when the world experiences unprecedented levels of unemployment, jobs are what this, uh, of unemployment, jobs are what this world really needs. Um, and I believe that's true. Um, chronic unemployment. This pandemic has created a lot of unemployment, but it also has created a lot of opportunity for entrepreneurs to get out there and do something. Um, so I, 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 I can't wait to see what the next entrepreneur is going to be, who the next entrepreneur is going to be, uh, who the next Donald Trump is going to be, who the next Richard Kiyosaki is going to be. Maybe it'll be me. I don't know. I, 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 I want it to be me, but I have other things. I'm a homeschool mom, and I educate my son for a living. Um, I teach him um, his schoolwork. I am his teacher. I am his tutor. I am his mom, and uh, that's my calling in life right now. Um, so chronic unemployment causes social unrest. And I believe that this BLM came about because of the unemployment we're seeing uh, last year, um, which created the social unrest um, for BLM to make um, waves. Um, the U.S. government shares similar concerns and spends billions attempting to create jobs through government legislation and programs, which um, I agree. Uh, government will, the problem is that government, um, neither ours or anybody else's can create jobs. Um, only entrepreneurs can. And I agree with that statement. That is a true statement. It is a fact. Um, only entrepreneurs can see the future and bring it to life. Um, risking, losing, and winning is an entrepreneur thing. And if you have that entrepreneur spirit, you're going to fail a lot. You're going to fail and you're going to fail and you're going to fail over and over again until you make it happen. Because failure is what causes winners um, and success. Um, another problem is that schools do not create entrepreneurs. They just create more employees. Um, so if people are telling you go to school, go to school, go to school, um, they're just saying go to school and get a good job. Um, and keep that job and they're gonna give you the money that you need to provide for your family and for some people that's right for them um, but for others it's not um, no MBA program is gonna give you the knowledge and experience that you need and the failure uh, that you need to succeed um, so we do need more entrepreneurs and i'm hoping that you listening to this message uh, get inspired and buy this book because it's all about uh developing the entrepreneur spirit and determining whether you have it um it goes on to say that you have five fingers and those five fingers are the key factors to entrepreneur dreaming of success and that that must ma that they must master in order to be success uh, full um, and those fa factors are not taught in school it also goes on to say that you, you need to master all the five fingers um, and you'll discover the magic of why some entrepreneurs are widely successful and some are not um, uh, the thumb stands for character and until you realize that without being able to withstand failure and disappointments that come with creating something out of nothing like God did. Pretty much God was an entrepreneur. He created something out of nothing. Um, and we need more of him. <laughs> um, you aren't, go aren't going to be able to withstand the 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 
the negative tides um, or the uncharted waters um, that is full of danger. Um, the reason Trump is so awesome is that um, despite the fact that he had negative publicity all the way through his presidential um, uh, in office, his presidency in office, um, he still is Trump and he has the character that he needs to turn disappointments into something. Um, and I really believe that he's a role model for the entrepreneur spirit. Um, the middle finger, I love this finger, um, it's also a bad word, is the longest finger of all. And um, it's all about you, it's all about, all about branding you, which um, something I love about Osborne Books and More is that um, they allow you to get be branded. Um, they allow you to brand yourself. To, and there are no quotas. So they allow you to learn, to fail, to fail again until you're successful. Um, and that's one of the things that um, no company, the company that I was with before, which I'm not going to mention because they made me mad, um, they had quotas. And they didn't allow me to brand myself. And I'm like, what? I'm independent here. You know, how do I sell your product? if you don't allow me to brand who I am. You know, I'm the entrepreneur here selling for you, making you money. And in return, I make a commission off of uh, what I sell. Um, and that's one of the things that if you're going to go into direct marketing, I really recommend that, that you um, join my team because us Warm Books More allows you to fail. They pretty much give you a license to fail and fail a lot until you're successful um, and so that you learn and no company is going to give that and there are no quotas. So whether you sell five books, um, at like $25, make $25 in one month or whether you make $2,000, um, they're pretty much allowing you to do your business the way you need to do your business and to brand who you are um, alongside of Osborne. So they're telling you, look, this is, this is what you need to do so that you don't get in trouble with our policy. Um, and, but you do your business the way you need to do it. We're not going to control how you do your business. Um, that's why you're independent. And that's why you make a commission off of your business. So that's one of the perks of us warm books and more and and i love them for it and i really highly recommend it if you're looking for a great um direct selling company to get started with they're also very affordable um you don't have to go in debt to um start with us warm books and more you could pretty much start with thirty dollars um and get the bare minimum of 10 books sent to you and with those 10 books if you're a good salesperson if you're good at marketing and branding yourself you're going to actually make money uh, you're going to know how to sell but selling um anything is not easy you know what i remember a long time ago they would ask me in some interviews can you sell this pen or can you sell this um and you know i never knew how to sell anything um, until I, I joined us Born Books and More. Um, and I started reading books on sales and marketing and um, learning how to um, share my knowledge of education and, and my knowledge, my love of the books. Um, because I do, I do have passion for these books. So it's easier to sell something when you have passion for it and you buy the product yourself. So if you buy the product yourself, you're going to be able to sell it um, a little bit easier. Um, but it, I needed to learn the first finger and I needed to develop my character so that I can whisk, so that I had a strong emotional, um, balanced character that will withstand whatever is thrown at me, whatever lemons are thrown at me. And let me tell you, I've been thrown at lemons all my life and I failed a ton, um, including on Facebook, um, I got thrown out. You know, this Facebook disabled me because 
I have ideas and I like sharing ideas and that's who I am and I'm not going to change for some narrative I don't agree with. <laughs> so, um, anyways, um, finally, um, I was at the long finger and that's all about browning and you're willing and willing you're, and a willingness to let the world know about it. Um, you, you won't have if if you do not share who you are your branding of yourself uh you won't have the Midas touch and that's one thing that i've learned um from being an osborne and buying this book um it, it just places the finger right where um i needed to be enlightened um the ring finger this one right here that's uh, all about relationships and how to find a good partner, uh, be a good partner and build different types of relationships to achieve success. And so in order for you to build a team, you need to um, find the right partners to build that team. Um, you need to find, um, you need to be a good partner yourself and um to build that team so finally the little finger is about the little things and and it's not simply on mastering the details i'm not very good with details that's why i'm terrible as a paralegal and actually i'm not that terrible as a paralegal when i was a paralegal i was very pretty good at my job um pretty good not I am not the stellar paralegal that you'd think I am, but I was pretty good. Um, <laughs> uh, you will see that the little things can come, become big things that can set you on a course to exponential success. So mastering all your five fingers will allow you to become successful at whatever direct selling business you choose. Um, and together, when all the awareness and the skills and the learning and the knowledge are in your hands that's when the Midas touch happens and I have to say that that this is pretty factual um, they're not lying to you on on what it takes to be an entrepreneur so really highly recommend this book um, it is only Sixteen ninety-five, and you could get it on Amazon. Actually, look up me up on Amazon because I'm an affiliate there too. And if you buy it from them, I'll get a little commission. Thanks. <laughs> and I'll try to put it. Out. I need to find my my link. I don't even know if I got approved. So let me let me go see. But anyways, even if I don't get approved, it's a really good book. It's sixteen ninety-five. Um, I highly recommend it. Thanks. And I hope uh, Trump is watching this. <laughs> and Kiyosaki too. Uh, because it's a really good book and they're really good people anyways <laughs>